Hello everyone, again, my name is Robert Wolf, 96 Boards Community Manager with Bonaro. And I'm Rajan Misri, I'm the Senior Applications Engineer with Qualcomm. And today, we're going to be taking on part two of a three-part series, ending in a very special open hours episode to be aired soon. In the last video, we did a quick unboxing of the camera mezzanine board itself. Uh, we first plugged it onto the dragon board, and today what we're going to do is we're going to turn the dragon board on and look at some cool uh, video streams coming out of the event sensor. Rajan and I put together a great software walkthrough. We're going to be using some of the examples that the D3 team put together for us. So I think it's time to bring that camera on in and, and check out what we got in store. So we lied. We didn't bring the camera in just yet, but that's because we want to talk to you a little bit more about the Dragon Board and how to flash D3's custom images onto the board prior to using the mezzanine, the uh, Design Core mezzanine. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need several items. One is a USB Type-A to micro USB cable. The other are, is the Android platform tools, uh, which contains Fastboot. And then, of course, you're going to need to know how to boot your Dragon Board into Fastboot mode. Now, when you're using the cable, the USB Type-A side will go into your host machine. The USB t uh, micro USB side will go into the OTG port on your Dragon Board 410C. Android platform tools contains Fastboot. There are several resources online. We'll provide that uh, in the description on how to use Fastboot and how to get it from the Android website. And then uh, Rajan here is going to talk to you about how to boot up your Dragon Board 410C into Fastboot mode. Thanks, Robert. It's actually very simple. Like Robert said, once you make sure you have all the connections right uh, and make sure the Dragon Board is not yet turned on, uh, the Dragon Board has a volume down switch right here, which is S4. You just press that switch, turn the Dragon Board on, wait for 20 seconds, and it's in fast boot mode. In order to make sure it actually is in fast boot mode, there's a very simple way in fast, fast boot tools. You can just type in command fast boot devices and you will see the Dragon Board show up on your host PC. So now we're going to take the camera in for real and we're going to look at some resources that D3 has provided for us around this mezzanine and how to flash onto the Dragon Board. Hello everyone and now as we promised we're going to walk you through the various resources available to you on not only the D3 mezzanine Wikipedia but Arrow's website, 96 Boards website and Qualcomm Developer Network. Yeah. Great. So let's dive right into this. Now um, first things first. Let's just assume I didn't know anything about this mezzanine and I just wanted to kind of find something. And I, I tested this out, but if I just search D3 camera mezzanine, and this is going through Google, you can see that it just pops up right here. Uh, plenty of resources, availability on Aero, the D3 mezzanine, or the D3 engineering um, website here. And then sure enough, here we're going to find the wiki with all of the resources. So this is the one we're going to kind of walk through first, considering we were just talking about flashing your board with the proper software. And you can find the links uh, in the resources of this YouTube video. Right, yeah, right below in the, in the description. So I clicked that link, and what did it take me to? It took me to the release v1.1 Linux kernel v4.9. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of find the top level for this. So I'm just going to go home real quick and find out what we have. Great. So here I am looking at the, the full list of resources. And as you can see here, there was a previous release v1.0, kernel v4.4. Uh, this was the, the release prior to this newest one, which I think just came out very recently. It looks like six days ago. And I'm going to click this and see where it takes me. So as expected, I have a list of downloads. And when we were talking about earlier about getting your board into fast boot mode and getting your cable ready, well, this is the reason why. Because what you're going to do is you're going to download the boot image and you're going to download the root file system. And you're going to need to flash these two images onto your Dragon Board. Now, there are instructions uh, on how to do this. And we're going to talk to you about this in just a second within the D3 wiki, which we're on right now. But you can also go to the 96 boards documentation which is basically 96boards.org forward slash documentation and dig your way to the Dragon Board 410C. There's also installation instructions there as well. I'll provide a link in the description. But for the meantime, let's just look at the fact that we downloaded these, uh, these two images, which I have downloading right now here, and, uh, and, and we'll move on to what other resources are available uh, through the T3 engineering website, Wiki. Rajan, you want to take it over here? Yeah, so they have uh, a really good, like, next one on the list is the, the Mezzanine User's Guide. So if you go ahead and click on that Mezzanine User's Guide, let's see what they have. And like we started, right, they start right from the beginning. They start with the boards themselves, 
how to connect those boards uh, if you scroll down they they show you the different headers which are 96 boards compatible j1 and j2 uh, low speed and high speed expansion headers uh, they talk about the j3 j4 csi connectors for the two camera uh, image sensors uh, the way these image sensors are configured right now in software is they have a particular orientation so the way that you see uh, that you see it on the screen right now the way the camera actually folds on top of the board is how uh, the video stream comes out so in any case if you want to change the video orientation that is being captured from the the camera sensor there is a way to do that and they describe the detailed instructions on how to do that within within a couple of different sections so if you scroll down updating the software uh, using their boot uh, boot images root file systems they have the links for their, those right here yeah so basically the that first place we went to where we clicked and we saw those downloads where i'm actually downloading the the, the pieces now the exact same links are right here. So essentially, if we would have came here first, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that would have worked as well. And they have the instructions on on how to use Fastboot as well. Uh, and actually, when we described in the video on how to put the Dragon Boat in boot mode, we use the vo volume down button. Uh, they have their own SW2 reset switch, which they they say works as well. You can use this switch to uh, put Dragon Boat into uh, into a fast boot mode as well. Uh, scrolling down, they talk about building and deploying your boot and root file system images. Uh, and in any case, if you want to build the kernel from scratch, they 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 talk about how you can go about doing that as well. So going one step back again, just to see what else they have as resources for us. Yeah, they have they have a section where they describe if you want to use a secondary sensor as well. Uh, they describe a whole set of instructions. They provided us with a whole set of instructions on how to do that. So in applications where you would want to use both camera inputs, you can enable the second sen sensor. Uh, out of the box, it comes only with one sensor, uh, but you can go ahead and buy the OV5640 image sensor off the shelf from, from Arrow, I guess, and you can connect it to the board, follow these instructions, and start using both sensors at the same time. And if you are ever interested in checking out the 96 Boards website, um, there uh, is a list of mezzanine products that you will find underneath the products section. Uh, inside these mezzanine uh, pages, we try to do our best to uh, consolidate everything that we've that we've just kind of gone so over. Now so now we have the D3 camera mezzanine connected to the Dragon Board. And let's take a look at the Dragon Board itself. All right, so. Right here you can see a dragon board and a D3 mezzanine, but we have it hooked in to the uh, camera, or the, to the dragon board to the mezzanine right here. So uh, as we showed in the first video, the low speed expansion header, the high speed expansion header matching right up according to the 96 board specification, plugs right in and uh, like a glove, right? Also the two camera modules that are plugged in there, they are the OV5640s. So OV5640s and then this is Rajan's board. Uh, which has the, you want to point that out right there, the the headers that are already soldered on for the low speed expansion header breakout, right? And then of course, you know, HDMI is plugged in, the uh, USB to Ethernet dongle converter uh, for internet, we have a USB dongle for a wireless keyboard and mouse, and then the 96 ports compliant power supply, which is 12 volts, 2000 milliamps, and a full size HDMI uh, monitor. So we are we are ready to go, and uh, and and I think Rajan mentioned uh, this is. It's already flashed with the images provided by D3. So I've already flashed the boot boot image and the root file system uh, that is provided by D3, and as part of the root file system that D3 gives, it already has a whole bunch of examples that we can take a look at. So I'm just going to quickly launch the terminal window uh, right here, and it's based on the 1704 release of uh, of Debian see that one right here let me just move this one down a little bit and the examples are actually located in uh, slash user and all of these yeah so these already come with the images uh, essentially once you flashed your board you can boot it up open up your terminal and you are ready to go CD into the d3 folder and look at all those files there
So you have all of these examples here for camera t uh, zero and camera one. So I'm going to run one for camera zero. which is a G-Streamer example, and let's launch that right there. And you can see the camera running. Yeah, and so this is the camera. Camera zero is actually the one that's linked to the J3 slot on the mezzanine, and I'm gonna kind of grab, grab it down here and just show that it's working. Here I am, hello. Uh, and, and let's see, here's Rajan. Is it gonna focus? And there. it does autofocus, so yeah, autofocus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, good times with the with the design core mezzanine uh, arrow. Sorry, the de design core mezzanine from D3 Engineering sold on on arrow.com. All right, everyone. That closes out part two of this three part series on the design core camera mezzanine from D3 Engineering, available through arrow.com. Stay tuned for part three, which is going to be the open hours session with uh, the D3 team and folks from Qualcomm as well. Yeah, every week at 4 p.m. UTC, at the end of the countdown, you can follow the countdown at www.96boards.org forward slash open hours. All of the links from today's episode or today's part uh, you will find in the description below. Uh, feel free to check that out. Ping us on, on IRC, hashtag open hours, hashtag 96 boards, hashtag Lunaro and uh, get your questions answered every week at the end of the countdown on open hours. Thank you. Thank you.